I am Dr. Pramod Mohan. I am a consultant orthopedic surgeon at Manipal Hospital, Malayshuram. So, my field of interest is shoulder and knee surgery and particularly arthroscopic surgeries. The topic which we are going to discuss today is about shoulder dislocation. So, the shoulder joint is the most mobile joint in our body. So, the shoulder can move in 360 degrees. So, the, and so the most common joint to get dislocated is also the shoulder joint. So, the study sh says that if your shoulder dislocation happens in your early 20s, the chances you get your shoulder redislocated is around 85 to 90 percent. So, when does this shoulder dislocation occurs? So, mostly when it occurs with sporting activities, when you are working out in a gym or when you are involved in an accident. So, so there were surgeries, earlier surgeries. We used to do an open surgeries where the complications of the surgeries were mostly stiffness after the surgical procedure. But nowadays, the shoulder dislocation can be dealt in a much better way with keyhole surgeries or arthroscopic surgeries. So, the arthroscopic surgery is basically a daycare procedures where the patient can get admitted and discharged in 24 hours from the hospital. So, following arthroscopic surgeries, the patient will have less pain and also minimum blood loss. And basically, the scar is relatively very less. There will be maximum like three small stitches. And with a good physiotherapy and rehabilitation, the patient can get into a, their full functions back and also get back to their favorite sports. And the chances of redislocation after an arthroscopic surgery is relatively very low. So, arthroscopic surgery is a good and an advanced uh, treatment for shoulder dislocation in young people who can who wants to get involved in their favorite sporting activities in their life. So, the arthroscopic surgery for shoulder dislocation is basically of two types. One, we do a soft tissue repair for the shoulder dislocation and other we do a bony stabilization for the shoulder dislocation. So, both these surgeries are wonderful surgeries. So, these surgeries can reduce the shoulder dislocation in the future so that you can get involved to your favorite activities. So, thank you for your patient listening. So, if you feel this video is informative, you can share this video with your friends, relatives and in case of any queries regarding shoulder dislocation or you want to know more about shoulder dislocation and arthroscopic treatment procedures, you can always leave the com uh, in the comment box. We will be very happy to help you. Thank you.